Hi everybody. I hope you all had a really good Easter. So I'm going to go ahead and do a haul here of two boxes from our atelier. Um, that's an online shop from, based out of uh, China actually. And this is a, a vintage ephemera subscription box. I've got two months here, um, two months worth. So I've got February's and I have March's. So the reason why I have two boxes is because um, when the February box was shipped, and usually Rosie from Art Atelier does her shipping towards the end of the month for the previous month. So February's box shipped at the end of January, but um, she had told all of us that uh, mail in China was going to probably not happen because that was, I think that was actually still during Chinese New Year. So it actually took um, more than three weeks, maybe, no, it took about three weeks. Yeah, three weeks for me to get, did it take? No, actually, I'm sorry. It took a month. It took a month for me to get the February box. And then literally a week later, I got the March box because obviously there was no problems with um, shipping in China. So I didn't do a video. I wanted to go ahead and just do um, two videos in, you know, in one for this. So um, let's get started now. Uh, I just want to point out that I, I did get some cherry blossoms from my tree in the backyard, you know, since it's now cherry blossom season. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the February box. So each box always comes with what is included in the box in terms of like stamps. So it's these images right here that are included, okay? So I'm gonna put that aside. And let's open this box up. So as always, you get washi, you get some stamps, and a ton of ephemera, okay? So let's start with the washi. So, and I like using her washi because it's always different. Um, it does have a theme, and I like the fact that it's, um, it's really great for junk journals, you know? or if you're doing mixed media. So this is this is February's um, washi, okay? And I love that look. Very collage looking, you know? I mean, you, know, you might not get a lot, but then you don't really use a lot. I just tear off a little, you know, a piece here and there and put it um, in my Hobonichi on the page for layout. She also usually includes a skinny washi, which I don't really use much of, so they're kind of just collecting in the containers. Um, I, I do have to figure out what I'm gonna do with them. So this one's got numbers on them. I guess you could use it as a timeline kind of piece. Okay, so then we also have here one of the stamps. Um, she usually includes like a rubber stamp and then acrylic stamps. So this one right here is, um, it's like, it says telephone on there. And this is really good. The quality of the stamps are actually pretty good. I've, uh, I've used them. So I'm gonna pull out the other stamp set. And the theme for this month, for February, was like fairies. So these are really, really pretty like the fairy that's sitting on the moon there. Okay. So we'll go ahead and open this little packet. Let's see what we got. And once again, like I said, fairies is a theme. So we've got some ephemera cards here and really pretty on very, th on pretty thick cardstock. I'd say this is probably I don't know if it's 120 pound, but it feels like it. Yeah, just really, really pretty images. Okay. Sorry, I like to put stuff back in. I don't wanna leave it out. <laughs> okay. All right. And then we've got the first um, big envelope here of ephemera. So you know what? I'm gonna move this to the side here. Let's take them all out just to make it easy to show, okay. So 
So this month, I like that it's not so um, Valentine's related, you know, because then you're kind of stuck. You can only use it during Valentine's. So we've got some clear stickers here, and this one it looks like a um, a bread shop or bakery. Okay. We've got some um, Scrabble stickers here. My mom is a big Scrabble fan. Um, yeah, clear stickers. We've got some vel um, not vellum, acetate pieces here. I know it's kind of hard to see. I'm trying to find something here that I can show it up against. I guess this. So we've got this one. I thought that was upside down. This one. There's a couple more pieces. This and this okay i don't know if that's and you probably see the glare too there you go okay so parchment pieces here with floral um yeah it's like a little, like that and these are sticker back too so would go really nice in your journal. Obviously you got a bunch of labels. Okay. Oop, that's already coming off. Um, some botanical illustrations here, which are always a favorite. And then got another sticker here. Beautiful days. Oh, with my birth year. So I've just told you how old I am. Um, more of these. We have blessings on your mo blessings on you, mother. <laughs> At first, I thought it was blessings on your mother, but no. And then another label here with some cows, <laughs> and another sticker here. These are like semi-transparent. That's got some what do you call it? Some uh, mushrooms. Okay, let's go on to this. So we've got some more. Uh, clear stickers here of botanical images okay and then looks like some sticker stamps which I'm probably gonna make myself I was able to um, I just have to oh, what's that I've just got to um, get some sticker paper so these are really pretty I like these And then we have some, um, oh, that's what that stuff's from. This is some handmade paper. Okay. And then we've got some more sticker, um, semi-transparent sheets of botanical images. I think there's only two. Yeah. So that is from the first big envelope. Now, I don't know if I'm going to continue to, after this video, to film these um, videos on YouTube. I'm, I don't seem to get a lot of hits from them, so I might just do them on Instagram instead, where I feel like there's more interest. Um, I mean, I'm not complaining, but I just feel like that's probably where people are looking more for stuff like this than they are on YouTube. So... Um, yeah. Okay, let's get whatever that is off. So here is the second envelope. Okay. So this one, lots more of um, ephemera pieces. And that's the great thing about our atelier because everything is kind of curated so there is a theme right and it's not just a hodgepodge of just whatever that's thrown together from what I've seen with other um, ephemera um, subscription boxes so this one says I can't actually make it out but I believe this is supposed to be I don't know I don't know what month that's supposed to be but it's really pretty <laughs> so got some like 
airline, um, vintage airline looking ephemera here. Oops, what does this say? This says, I have no idea. Okay, so we've got some more stamps, but these are not sticker back. I've got some very like vellum, antique looking vellum type of stuff. Some more labels. Just gonna make sure that it's in focus. Um, there we go. Clear vellum. So this one says March. The next box will say April. It's always for the preceding month. Um, so more labels here. Okay. Looks like a, a pig. Almost reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. Got a little envelope here. More labels. This one, um, the old man and the sea. These are tear parts or tear. I don't know what you want to call them. Um, we've got, looks like a vintage piano piece these over some more um, vellum pieces and then we've got some little um, sayings here let me take this one off so this one is extreme sorry I'm not in focus extreme post definitions you know dictionary pieces destination potato okay odd junior celebrate Okay, we've got some vintage tickets here. Drake University. Yeah, it's kind of funny. And then more labels, okay. A little like film strip, airmail type label. And then we've got these other collage looking kind of pieces. Okay, so it's just a, such a wide assortment, which I love here because I mean, that's just a lot that you get to work with. I mean, these boxes are just $29.90 a month. So this is a lot, you know, for what you get. And it includes shipping, which is great because they're coming all the way from China. And um, I mean, generally, if this was non-pandemic, I'd probably get these boxes within like a week and a half, to be honest. It's not EMS, but then again, it's airmail, but it's like expedited airmail almost. So we've got some more printed pieces here on like a natural fiber paper. Okay. Midsummer's Night Dream. It's almost like what the theme is. And then some other pieces here that she's made. Okay. Um, this one is different. This one is actually like fabric. Almost like a cheesecloth kind of fabric. And then you've got some more uh, collage um, papers here. Or decoupage papers. So, yeah. So, this is the February um, box. So, let me go ahead and put these away so we can open up the, uh, the March box. I've already paid for um, April's box and I believe she's already shipped them. So hopefully I'll be getting mine within, I'd say maybe at least two weeks, you know, hopefully there's nothing going on that's going to um, slow it down because I've found that usually it's now our postage, um, postal system that's being slow. Thanks to the stupid postmaster who's basically trying to really slow everything down, um, you know. I mean, we had like a 90% um, in terms of like delivery, on time delivery percentage prior to this current postmaster taking over. And now what is it? It's probably like half, not even half in terms of like getting delivered on time, which is insane considering how much they want us to pay to ship stuff. So that's my little rant on the US Postal Service. Not against the postal employees, just the stupid postmaster. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and open March. Now, I plan on eventually storing, well, I was keeping everything actually in the boxes and just labeling um, by the month, but that's taking up too much space. 
and I'm going to create a system where I'm going to store everything, but I'm still on the fence if I'm going to store um, the stuff like uh, by month or just put all the ephemera pieces together, you know, um, to save space. I want, I kind of want to keep everything in just one, um, system. So, all right, here we go. So this is March. Let's start with the stamp because it's pretty big and I like these kind of stamps. First off, we've got this ledger, not ledger, it's like a catalog, I guess, kind of stamp. Actually get closer. There we go. Really good rubber stamp. I'm sure it's gonna make really good um, clean images. So we've got the washi here, and it looks like there's only one washi for this month, which is fine. Um, I'm happy there's no skinny washi because I don't really use it. As I've said before so let me go ahead and pull this apart and here is the image oh, there we go so this month's theme is seems to be like a library yeah because it says right there oh, focus Urbana free library yeah so books library theme okay Take everything out. All right, so we'll start with the big pieces first. Okay, so we do have like letters printed on the natural fiber paper. Um, like pages from a library book talking about the library system got here is like an, a letter of some sort then we've got the usual natural fibers I still have to figure out what to use or how to use these um, then it looks like we've got a page from a math book or a calculus book I don't know I didn't take calculus and yeah so, let's put that there. This is the stamped um, images, or not stamped images, but the, sta the acrylic stamp for this month, and it's a globe in different um, styles. Okay, so. I don't want to put it too far up. There we go. Start with this small pack here. These are, these are supposed to be like, the, uh, what do you call these? The book plates, I think. Yeah, something like that. Oop, there we go. So University of Toronto, also Public Library of Toronto. Oh, here we go. This is like back then when you would check out a book, they would stamp when the book needed to be returned. Or actually, no, no, when the book was checked out and then they stamp it again when you return it. It's been so long ago. Um, yeah, I remember when I would go to the library and use the um, car, you know, the library, uh, when you would look up books, you would actually have to go to the cards and look it up that way with the, uh, system I can't even think now it's been so long and then you would have to go and you know find the book and then they would they would stamp all of the books when you check them out and then stamp them when you come back in kind of like the same thing when you would get your books um, the first week of school um, there would be a space on the inside of the, the first page or on the cover of the book at the inside of the cover you had to write your name down so you could see over the years you know who had the book before you and I remember when I would get books some of them would still have names even all the way from the 70s because I was going to school in the 80s um, so yeah it was interesting okay so we've got the first big pack here of ephemera and 
this is even though this is the March book we have got the April calendar now I love that she actually put it inside this library pocket here so you've got and I guess this is a bookmark it's very thick cardstock okay and here we go the library cards where you would write your name the due date the date returned right okay so we got that we've got some more oh look at that a fox image um, illustrations animal illustrations um, we have some like almost like kind of planner kind of stuff sorry my brain's not working today is actually Easter Sunday when I'm filming this and I stayed up too late last night because I finally decided I'm gonna binge watch Bridgerton yeah I know I'm a little late on the game but I will tell you this for all you Bridgerton fans out there um, I've been reading books like those for years so I mean I was really in no hurry to really jump on the bandwagon because like you know it's like all the other books that I've read I've read that author's books before but not the Bridgerton series so um, I'll probably go and check out those books at the library so I can see what the difference is between um, the books and the show so yeah I'm looking forward to season two although I am pretty sad that the Duke won't be on there because he was a definite pleasure to watch um, so we've got some self-portrait looks like these are quotes life is a journey love yeah they're quotes and then I really like this this month's um, some vellum pieces here these look really good I can't wait to use these blank sheet <laughs> some more pieces that you could use for um, collage postcard ledgers you know you got sorry if I'm going too fast and if it's not in focus um, postcards and like I said more miniature ledgers speaking of uh, Bridgerton or rather historical romance which is my favorite type of romance books to read um, I like the Regency era although I also like reading about you know during Queen Elizabeth's era the funny thing is that you would think that because um, something like Outland you'd think I would be into it but I tried reading that book the first book and I could just I just couldn't get into it I don't know I just found that author to be way too worthy wordy is a word um, it was just droning on and on and I just could not get into it so that's why I haven't really watched Outlander and my sister is one of my sisters is just insanely crazy about that show but I don't know I'm just I'm not really into the the Jacobite Jacobite <laughs> I can't even say it during that time King Charles the second yeah during that period I don't know there's just been there's really not been many books that I've been interested in that take place during that era so um, yeah that's definitely one that I haven't read but I found out that my favorite author uh, Bertrice Small her son is getting her books um, well hopefully they're gonna be made into either a TV series a movie something and um, she's already passed away so he's been trying to you know appease the fans and get her stuff um, out there and with Bridgerton making historical romance really popular now it's the perfect time for him to do that so it's about time because everybody always looked at historical romance as like trashy romance novels but they're not you learn a lot um, because those authors do research on those time periods so okay so we've got a lot of like um, you know astro um, astronomy type uh, what do you want to call it yeah library kind of stuff pen and ink more globes 
um, rulers, and then you have a lot of quotes, probably, yeah, James Joyce, Walt Whitman, Jane Austen, um, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Lauren Eden, don't know who she is, Virginia Woolf, um, covers to books, and then you've got these images here, they're like, almost like tickets. We got, these are all stickers now, okay? Everything that from that second pack that I just opened. So these are all stickers. The Table Book of Art. Okay, I was, at first I was gonna say the Mabel. It's a table, one year later. Huh, some kind of a map, I'm not sure. Uh, look at that, the latest improved Western washer. Funny. Excuse me. So we've got, hmm, looks like the kind they use to squeeze the water out. Okay, so we've got more stickers here. Some circle embellishments, right? We've got book plate labels, whatever you want to call them. Some more pieces here again, stickers. And did I say second? Maybe that's first envelope. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. So yeah, these are great. I don't know. I think I might end up using this month first before the February month. I can already think of some pages that I want to do. I don't know if I'm going to show any pages. Um, I've journaled for a long time since my, since I was in high school and, um, I've always considered it private. I, yeah, I don't know. I might not show any pages. Okay, so did I already show this? Yeah, I did. Okay, so that was second one. Okay, so I guess I've shown everything here. I'm just chatting along and not paying attention. So there we go. That is um, the March, let's move this down here. This is the March 2021, uh, vintage ephemera subscription box for our atelier so i hope you enjoyed this uh rather long and chatty <laughs> video and that you had a great easter and i will be back with another haul all right thanks a lot bye